this summer on Digital Casco makes its first tutorial. Right, here we are in Photoshop and the first thing I'm gonna do is duplicate the layer to have some backup. Then we go to image, adjustments. I'm gonna call this terrain either. And then I'm gonna go to image, adjustments, groups, and play with red, green, and blue to get the some nice results and then I'm gonna duplicate once more and add some Gaussian blur and change the layer mode to screen Reduce the opacity a little. Then I'm gonna merge the layers and add some smart sharpen to get some nice edge. that we can export to Cinema 4D So here we are in Cinema 4D and I'm gonna create a background and a new material to add the image that I have exported from Photoshop Terrain to Cinema 4D and I'm gonna drop that material into the background and we can see we have our image I changed the name to Terrain and I'm gonna try to fix the floor to match with the real photo there we go and I'm gonna create a new text change to A and the font DIN and next thing I'm gonna do is create and extrude nerves drop into that change to A and in the object tag I'm gonna make some changes 18 17 is fine and in caps I'm gonna go fillet caps 4 steps 1 radius fillet cap 4 steps 1 radius Then I'm gonna add the fracture object to give some nice reflections on the text. I'm gonna make text bigger, rotate a little, and uh, now it's time to add our plane which will contain the shadows of the letter and change to shadow and we have to drop the material into the floor change projection to frontal and the compositing tag with compositing background as we can see we don't have any shadow So I'm going to change some render settings, I'm going to disable auto light, add some ambient occlusion, 
change the color to maybe a black brown and uh, add some global illumination with a gamma of 2.2 .2 and irradiance cache of I put low to have more fast previews so I'm gonna create this guy and I let the composite intact I uncheck Simba camera to hide and then I'm gonna go to content browser and take some HDR drop into sky and I'm gonna go for a test render let's see how it looks and we can see a small shadow I'm gonna add a new light to make some more shadows I rotate make some a little bit bigger change the name to A light change shadow to area and color it's a little pink render and you can see that's better let me try to match the light with the real photo a bit render region there we go that's better and uh, I'm gonna change the ambient occlusion to black again I think that that will be better and I'm gonna rotate light and move forward a little bit and rotate again let's do the test and we can see that's better. I'm gonna lower the intensity of the light and change to shadow maps. Let's see what's happened. That's better. And I'm gonna make a new material for the leather with a Fresnel texture and change the color to some green. some reflection Fresnel lower brightness and the specular I'm gonna make some adjustment drop into the ladder let's see what happened that's nice Now I'm going to duplicate the letter. First, I'm going to move back. Try to match. Move back. And duplicate. Move forward. again move forward you can put those letters where whatever you want duplicate once more move forward and last one I'll put over the rock and 
now we can start changing the text of each letter I'm gonna change to some of the names of the objects to be more organized to give some more random on the letters make this one bigger this one bigger rotate again change that in the material anyways I think it's looking pretty good till now let's modify the material texture and give some more yellow green a reflection maybe 10 10 again in brightness I'm ready to save. I'm gonna change some settings. Save. I'm gonna put terrain to Photoshop to make some final adjustments. Ambient occlusion is fine. Low illumination, medium, medium, gamma 2.2, auto .2. light off. Until I think I'm gonna go for best and two for two. Mm -hmm. Hit render and see you on Photoshop to make final adjustments. We're in Photoshop. I'm gonna duplicate layer to have a backup. I'm going to go adjust some levels to bright some the image, and uh, then I'm gonna go to curves, play with the settings. 
low the red I'll add some green and finally lower blue And now with the burn tool I'm gonna make more shadows that's fine Add a new layer, make a gradient with some pink color and drop on the right corner, change layer mode to screen, maybe lighting, lower the opacity and duplicate this layer transform put on the other corner I'm gonna change the color to some green maybe yellow let's see that's good change the layer mode to soft light lower the opacity Smart Sharpen to give more edges I'm going to change layer name to Blur and I'm going to go Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur with a radio of 2 and I'm going to erase the front of the blur and then I'm gonna lower the opacity of the eraser brush and 